You sit on your couch at the end of every day exhausted. Laptop is still open, phone buzzing, emails after hours. Don't even look over at the kitchen. The dishes are still there from yesterday's Costco lasagna. You took a me day a month ago to get your nails done, but the peace wore off as soon as you walked back in the door. Life seems to have one speed these days, which is hurry up. But how long can you keep it up? And are you supposed to? Turns out you missed out on a blessing built into the fabric of the world if you never press pause. Let's agree. God's work was more important than anything we'll ever do. He made the world. But he also knew which task was meant for each day and didn't press past those bounds. How often do we do the opposite? We're catching up from yesterday and working ahead for tomorrow. If rest equates to laziness, why did God do just that? Scripture says, so God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it, God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. Our father wasn't rushed. He worked hard for six days, accomplishing what needed to be done with grace and love. There was no striving. Instead, he pulled back to rest in full confidence that enough was enough. How often do we miss out on the blessing of rest because we worry we haven't done enough? We rush to do more, be more, accomplish more, to get ahead because we aren't content with where we are. But those expectations are not from God. He wants you to rest once a week, reconnect with him and his plan, so you can be powered up for big things.